Hi, how are you doing? How are your holidays? I hope they're going great. My holidays are going by too fast, so fast. I wanna slow it down, it's my favorite time of year. So I have been obsessed with this pizza that I'm about to show you. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and I, I load it down with organic veggies and it's so delicious and really fills that void in my life for the pizza because that's my favorite food. And now I've found a way to enjoy it without the consequences. So I wanna share that with you. I've been making pizza and watching Christmas movies. It's been so awesome. Um, so this is what I found. It's from Trader Joe's. It's a gluten-free vegan crust. The ingredients are not perfect, but the main ingredient is cauliflower. Uh, it's got some rice flour, chickpea flour. The one thing I don't like is it has sunflower oil. So not happy about that, but in a pinch, special occasion, special craving, I'm having my pizza. I think this is better than my favorite pizza, which is sourdough pizza with dairy on it. So this is a great alternative. And for the cheese, we're gonna use Biolife. The most important part of the pizza is the sauce. So I, there's no commercial sauce that I like, so I make my own, and I'm gonna show you how I do it. So just some organic tomatoes. You can use the smaller can. I've been eating this pizza so much, I'm doing a big batch. Normally, yellow onion, don't use red onion or purple onion, that's what this is, because I only have two onions left and I'm making uh, sauce tomorrow, and I need my onions, so this will be fine. Purple actually has more nutrition than the yellow, but I think the flavor for stuff like sauce way better with yellow. So let's pretend that this is yellow. I like a fine chop with my onions. These onions, Dr. Furman says that onions are, well, I don't know if he's ever said it's a superfood, but he talks about it like it's superfood. It's one of the G-bombs that you're supposed to have every day, onions, because they do have those sulfur compounds like the cruciferous vegetables. And you definitely up the ante with purple, but for me, I would rather put the purple on top of the pizza. All right, I kind of did this backwards. Usually I put olive oil in the pot and then add the stuff, let it get warm, let it get, uh, you know, so that when you put this in, it makes the sizzle. I forgot to do that. I'm using this organic olive oil. Yes, I'm using oil, um, just a tiny bit. I think it adds to the flavor of the sauce. I've lost yet another pound with this no oil thing. So I don't want to lose any more weight and I don't care about that. The reason that it's not ideal to have oil, olive oil, it's because it's a processed food. It's not like eating whole olives. And all the doctors that I'm focused on recommend not doing this, but I'm doing it anyway in very small amounts. Okay, that's it, just a couple drops. Organic tomatoes. We're gonna to put this in the blender. Kitchen Mama. These are on sale right now, by the way. Get one of these if you have issues with your hands. Okay, so we're gonna take these tomatoes. We're just gonna put them in our blender. A little salt and pepper. It's a tiny bit there, and that way you can salt on top if you want, just a tiny, tiny bit. I'm using this pizza seasoning by Frontier. They make my favorite spices and seasoning, and this pizza one is awesome. I'm gonna go blend this up. Also, I like to add a little tomato paste. This brand, Palm, they're Italian. I just like their stuff. Organic, everything I'm using is organic, except the pizza crust and the cheese. So I just did a really quickie blend because I want I don't want it pulverized. I don't want it to be liquid. So a quickie, um, depending on what size I'm using, diced. So there's still some tiny little chunks in there, but not the big chunks. Oh wait. Also, I put sugar. So this is some raw sugar. I know how some of you feel about sugar. I know how I feel about sugar. I use it very rarely. And it's probably about a tablespoon. I like my pizza sauce sweet. Not too sweet, but a little bit sweet. I'm gonna redo this. I'm just going to put this on. It's a lot easier to tell with the yellow uh, onions when they're done because you want the edges to be browned and you want them to become translucent. With the purple, it's a little bit hard to tell when they're ready. A little bit harder, but it's fine. Okay, I think we're about there. 
I'll make this again for you sometime with a yellow. This is gonna be a habit. I really enjoy this. And then we're gonna add our tomatoes. All right. Okay, so we're just gonna let this simmer. I've got it on low. So the sauce is simmering. And once you have that sauce made for the week, you take out this whole entire step and it's much faster even, but I feel like even with making the sauce, that doesn't take very long. So what I like to do is this comes in two and they are wrapped. I think that's really good packaging for this because it makes them fresher. And then once you take one out, you can just toss this other one in the freezer and have more space. So the directions here are to heat the oven to 425. I like to put this in at a time and get it a little bit browned before I start adding the topping. I am Milan Ray Pizza Stone. This is ceramic, nothing toxic. I also like to preheat this. So when I do put the crust down, it's already got a hot bottom. So while everything's heating up and the sauce is simmering, this is just the combination that I like. I also love to put broccoli on pizza. It's so good. So I've just been doing peppers. And you can cut these long ways and pretty way. I have just been chopping everything and putting it all on top. It's really, it's just really fast, but you can get creative. They are really good for you. And so are these guys. Mushrooms every day, Dr. Furman. I think Gregor, is Gregor saying that too? So the oven's up to 350, so I'm just gonna put this on the bottom. Just like that. I put it there for a few minutes. I got a sample of the sauce. It looks really good, but it's too hot to taste. Always taste your sauce. Make sure you got it right, and then you can tweak it. It has the color that I want, it's beautiful. Okay, let's see. Mm, it's so good. I wish you could smell it, it smells divine. Mm. Perfect. All right. So our sauce is looking gorgeous. This is what you want, if you can see that. And then we're just gonna spoon some sauce. Now you don't have to add this, but I'm adding the BioLife mozzarella. few of these. Now we are going to put this in. <laughs> Let it cool off for a couple minutes. This pizza is enough for two people if you're having salad. And I've actually eaten the whole entire thing more than once because it's so good. So ideally you would eat half of this and a nice big salad. But if you eat the whole thing, don't feel bad. I've done it like three times already. What I like to drink with my pizza, for some reason when I eat pizza, I have to have carbonation. So I like to drink some mineral water with the pizza or kombucha. Okay, it smells so good. I'm so excited to eat this. I got my salad and I got my pizza. This company makes some Parmesan. They make it in the blocks and they make it, it's like a little triangle, and they make it like this. Um, if you like Parmesan. Also, I like to, if you're not doing the vegan cheese, I like pine nuts on Italian stuff. Okay, let's see. Mm. So good, it's so good. Okay. There you go, there's your piece of pizza. I'm gonna go watch a movie now. Isn't it beautiful? I think that is such a pretty piece of pizza. And I got my little Caesar salad and I hope this inspired you to go ahead and enjoy some of the things that you miss, that you love, just in a healthier way and give you something to make that's really fast and easy during the holidays. When you have limited time and you just want that comfort food, 
I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how your holidays are going. Let me know what Christmas movies you are watching. Anything you want to tell me. I will see you real soon. Happy healing.